simple buttock squeeze. I would say it's the first thing you can do when you're sitting and you start having this pain. Squeeze and release your buns. Along with your buttocks, squeeze and release your Kegel muscle. We are not lifting shoulders. Don't lift shoulders. That movement happens from the buttocks. Squeeze, including your Kegel, drop. Buttocks and Kegel in, drop. Buttocks and Kegel in, drop. And again, in, drop. See, feel that? Squeeze, hold for an instant, drop. Squeeze, hold for an instant, drop. Let's say you are about to pee. <laughs> and so that little about, you're holding here and take it to the bathroom. <laughs> so that, that's the sensation. You, that's what I call the cheesecloth squeeze, right? Mm -hmm. So this whole part, including your buttocks, whoop, and relax. Not when you want to pee, really. <laughs> Don't relax. <laughs> but now you do. Squeeze and release. Now, doing both at the same time, it's sometimes tricky because we usually, especially when the sciatic pain is already, you know, habitual thing, we usually do one side more than another. So let's choose one side and do it. Let's say, uh, let's try it. It's a practice. It's just a question of practice. So choose, let's say, the right buttock. Squeeze, release. Squeeze, release. My question is, what if you ground it, the left one, ah, okay. so kind of tell it not to move and move another one. Squeeze, yeah, release. See if that works. Uh -huh. So if that helps you, do it. I don't need it, so I, I won't do it. It's only one buttock. Foot down, foot down. Oh. Yeah. Squeeze, only that same, the right one. Again, squeeze, release. Squeeze, release. Now, same thing on another side. Squeeze it. So if you need, stop the opposite leg and work on another one. Squeeze, release. And now see if, if, uh, if it's same. If one side does it better or stronger or higher even, or maybe one side needs some additional help, which is not really helping. So just the buttock instead, don't lift your heel. Keep going, keep going. We're working on our pelvis. Yes, I'm talking to you. <laughs> Let's go. One and drop. One and drop. How was that? Did, did, you, did you feel that you could maybe more, maybe less control one side at a time? But it's, it's definitely more interesting experience. <laughs> if not, say, more difficult. Now let's take it to the next step. And the next step will be alternating. <laughs> right, drop. Left, drop. Right, yes, drop. <laughs> never say never, drop. Right, dro uh, drop. Left, squeeze, drop. Don't lift your heels, don't lift your shoulders, just the buttock and the, uh, the pelvis. Right and drop, left and drop. Right, squeezing, left, squeezing. Do you know that sensation when you, not this case though, not this weather, but when you get in your car with a leather seats uh, and it's too hot. <laughs> <laughs> that sensation, and then the first bun you, for, you put on the, oh my goodness. So we all know how to squeeze one at a time, <laughs> right? Now let's do the jumping. It's gonna be both at the same time to begin. The funniest one. Nothing else moves. Just your buttocks. Okay? Cheers. And the chairs. <laughs> Could we try the same uh, speed <laughs> alternating? So this is, remember we always do this exercise of butt walk? Well, <laughs> they, 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 they both are related, these exercises. Try it, try it. it one after another doesn't work. Do both, but do. So I can see the difference in my case between right buttock and the left buttock. 
These are funny movements, but you are safely, you, you are safe doing it in this classroom or at your home, and then come back. I feel like I have worked my buns a lot already, right? So. I